Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bulletproof. I'm Bob Coleman, your host, and I am so excited uh, to um, be on today's program, Bulletproof. This is one of my first programs as we launch this brand new podcast called Bulletproof. And the reason for Bulletproof is to spotlight and highlight people in the business world all over the world and give people the opportunity to share their stories of some of the obstacles that they had to face, but through it all and be it all, they were able to bounce back and become bulletproof. And having said that, I met a young man a few weeks ago, and I was so blown away with not just his energy. You know, he was a young man that when he was in the room, you felt his presence in the room. I mean, he he engaged. Uh, he sat in front of the room at this particular business event that we were attending. And so I was so uh, impressed with his energy, I had to have him as a guest on the show. So having said that, let's go all the way to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and let's talk to Mr. Arthur Henley. Are you there, yes. sir? Yes, sir. How's it going, man? <laughs> it's going it's great. It's, it's a pleasure to be on your show, man, um, today, Monday morning. So, awesome. Hey. awesome. Well, Arthur, I'm going to tell you, uh, you're, you're 30 years old, uh, yes, 30-year-old African-American man living in Milwaukee. I'm, I don't, I don't want to tell much of your story. I want to steal your thunder. But let's just say the, the company that you're working with, what is the name of the company? It's called World Ventures. World Ventures. I'm very familiar with World Ventures. And so you're, you are in, uh, an associate and a member of World Ventures, a representative, I should say, and a member of World Ventures. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Arthur, tell me, being 30 years old, and tell me how you got introduced to World Ventures and a little bit, you know, of your story, if you would. I got introduced um, to World Ventures from a complete stranger on Facebook. Didn't have no clue who she was or nothing. Um, I just sent her on, a, on her Facebook page. She um, had, She's always used to posting up stuff, and I just seen the sign, you should be here. But I never knew what I should be, you know, um, in my life. So I was like, man, where should I be? You know, so I was just thinking. Where should I be? Like this lady got something really good going on. What I said for she hit me up. She's um on a live video stream and um I was doing music and I just got done recording me some music and um, my family. So um I sat down. I'm asking God for something my whole life, my whole entire life. And then that very same day that she came up on Facebook and saying that she had gifts. I'm like gifts. Who give away gifts on their birthday? She said, I'm like, I got gifts to Rivia Maya Cancun for my birthday to you guys. I said, wow, I want that gift. Because I heard of Cancun before, but I never knew how I was going to get there. You know, like, I was going to get to Cancun if I didn't have the money or the time or whatever. You know, and um, you know, I was just wasting my time doing other things that I had no business doing. So it was like, take my time out to watch the 10-minute video that she had when I said I want it. Give it, okay. here, give it to me. All right, then let me ask you, let's backtrack a little bit because you said something very significant. Um, you were out there in the streets doing stuff that you hadn't been as doing, yes. correct? Yes, and sir. you also said that you prayed to God to send you something. Yes. Now, let's say that God had not answered your prayer. What was your plan if he had not answered your prayer? What were you, what were you, what were you planning on doing? Oh, see, my plan was like, Okay, I was gonna to continue to do my music, and um, I was gonna turn back to the streets, man. I was, I, I really, to be honest with you, I was gonna turn back to the streets if um, if things weren't gonna go my way, you know, with okay. um, God sending me the blessing. But I know okay. God working in a mysterious way. He's gonna send it to you. You just gotta wait patiently. Okay, so. To come. Okay, so you you prayed to God to send you something, and ironically, the same day that you prayed. You ran across this lady, you know, this total stranger on Facebook. Yes, sir. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. And so what made you notice her? What made you stop at her, you know, notice her? What made you stop on Facebook and stop at her page? Her her excitement. I mean, I liked her drive. Her drive was like, man, she was just super excited on there. And I was like, man, what is they giving this lady? She's super excited. I need to get that juice that she's drinking. You know <laughs> I was like, man, she was drinking some kind of juice, and I knew it wasn't that crunk juice stuff, and I knew it wasn't no alcohol she was on. She was just life. She was just life just told into her that was shared with me 
And I was looking like, oh, my God, this lady got so much excitement. I need some of that in my life. So I, I reached out to her. I said, I want that. She gave me a link. It said, I said, you need a password. She said, oh, the password is residual. And I said, oh, I heard of that before, residual. So I typed in the password. I get to watching the link, man. It seemed nothing but the best, mind-blowing thing. It was a no-brainer to me. And I was like, wow, this is something I want to do. It's, it was travel. So like I said, yeah, Cancun. And I know how I was going to do Cancun. I know how I was going to do um, Vegas and none of these places that, I'm, that, that I was seeing. So it was a blessing that that came to me, man, right away. Because, like I said, God didn't want me on the streets, and he knew what he wanted for me. So he gave he, he sent that right there, then and there. That prayer, it, it got answered. You know, wow. the prayer got answered for me, for me not to be going doing wrong and to stay doing right. You know, because when you're sick and tired of getting it wrong, there is a time when you can get it right, though. You know, absolutely, absolutely. So, and you are married, you got a wife, yes, and children. Yes, I have six kids, I have wow. five boys and a daughter. Five boys, and so, so here you are now, you are well ventures, and you're, you're, you're building a business of well ventures. And what level are you in World Ventures now? I'm going uh, to hit the level of senior rep um, four months, um, January 4th. So um, that was the end of our promotion sale that we was having with the $100 deal. So, um, yeah, I had hit that. But it wasn't by myself. It was with the team. So it was a lot of teamwork, team building, and um, a lot of duplication going on. So I'm like, man, to do that again, I just got to duplicate again, do exactly what I did the last time to hit the other rank, the next rank. Right. So, let, so I said, let me ask you this, you know, being a young man in Milwaukee there, you know, uh, I'm not going to say from the streets, but you, you know, you know, what's going on out there on those streets for sure. Yeah. So you are, but now you are part of a legitimate business called World Ventures. Yeah. And a lot of people will look at, look at a legitimate business like a World Ventures and say it's a scam or it's a pyramid scheme. What would you say to a person like that? See, I just tell a person, like, when they think it's a, a pyramid or a scam, and I just tell them, look at the job, man, because you're going in that thing every day, and you would never own that place. You know, your boss at the top and you at the bottom. Look at it, man. Everything is pyramid structure, you know. So you, you can't come telling me something about my business that is a pyramid or is a scam because it's like I tell them like this, what scam you know give you your money back? What scam you know going to give you everything back to go experience the product? Awesome. So have you been on any trips personally? Yeah, I've been on four trips. Um, I've been to Millionaire Boot Camp out there in Miami 2017. Did um, Vegas with my wife um, October, View from the Edge. And um, came from my Fed trip, took my kids. November, we took them to um, – Orlando, Florida, to the Lazy River, to Orange Lake Resort, and um, stayed in two bedroom villa there. And um, I was looking the back of the slide doors. We got the lake view, and um, we had um, you know the golf course back there. So it was nice. It was it was very nice. My kids had a wonderful time. They did all seven pools, ate free at one restaurant, and um, man, it was it was lovely. And um, so if it you want to go back, so if it had not been for World Ventures. Do you think you would have ever been able to experience vacations like that? Oh, no, most definitely not. Because, um, like, once I headed out there to Birmingham, I know um, a couple of our teams just left off from out there in Birmingham about a um, couple of months ago, whatever. And um, I met the founder at a club, Wayne News. So I met him um, at the rank up party. With, uh, I was with Keith, Keith Willis, I mean, I keep, yeah, Keith Willis and, um, Roscoe Taylor and them, and um, we was all out there at the rank up party, Dana Jane and Tiffany Johnson and them. So we was all out there kicking it, man. Wayne Nugent walked in the building. The DJ said, Wayne Nugent is stepped in the building. I said, wow, not the founder of the club. <laughs> <laughs> not the founder. So I went and met the guy. You know, I went and walked up to this man on stage. I wasn't supposed to be up on the stage, but I got up on the stage, and I introduced myself because this is a, a man that I wanted to be a pleasure to meet up in person, whether, you know, hey, this is my shot. Just meet this man, and I tell him, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, and it's, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful to be a part of what you got going on because without you, without this vision that you gave us, I mean, the vision that you had to give us, none of this would be possible for me. 
Wow. None of this is possible for any one of us that's in this building right now today. So let me ask you this. Are you having, and this, I know that you are, it's a rhetorical question, but are you having fun? Are you having fun with your business? Yes, sir. I'm having much fun. I'm having fun with my family because I have my, my family aboard with this with me. I have my mother, my sisters, my cousins, you know, and a couple of friends that's going to be coming along with me as well. But, you know, I just stay patient, stay humble with myself because I know everybody not coming. You know, awesome. everybody not going to come. Everybody not going to see the same vision that I seen. You know, awesome. so you know, I'm just don't pressure anyone on to do anything that they don't want to do anyway. So it's like me personally being the person that I am, I like to help a lot of people, and then that's when my yellow come in. But I don't let my yellow get involved with too much of the red because I let the red kind. Of, it's kind of equaled out, so it can't get it. You know, it's equaled out, so it can't really too much like get in the way. Because right. I know how to handle people when I come to them, you know. And now, now, for those who are listening who might not understand when you say my yellow or my red, you're referencing personality types. Yes, You know, sir. you have different types of personality types, a red personality and a yellow personality. And just, so when you mention those colors, you're actually referencing personality types. If you could, within the next minute or so, a couple of minutes, if if I were to hand you the microphone, which is what I'm about to do, and say, Arthur, I want you to speak to your peers, speak to a young person that's your age category in their early 30s, your late 20s, or in their 20s, who are looking for something. What would what message without all of the 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 the, the industry gargon, without the you know the, the the personality types or the yellows or the reds, just you speaking from your heart. Okay. You know, what, what message would you give a young person about what you're doing? Man, I tell you, like, don't be, if you're a product of your environment out there and you and you asking for something, you look for more in your life, just go ahead and just go for it because, man, don't wait. Because, man, time waits for no one. And, uh, man, you could be gone in a lick of time, man, for running in the streets. Man, there's so much out there to get into and there's so much people out there, you know, just want to, take you out to the thing that you're doing. So you have to change your ways in order to get, you know, you have to change your life to get better in life. Because, man, if you want better results out of life, you have to look at life now and realize you living, you breathing, you blessed to be alive. Because, man, I know me personally, I am blessed to be alive. I mean, there's many a times that I was being the product of my environment and, it's like, man, my mom's having dreams. And if your mom's telling you to stay up out in the streets and your man, your dad, your auntie, your grandma, whoever raising you, telling you to stay out in the streets, stay out of the streets. Because awesome. there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there, man, but death and jail. You know? Awesome. And well, well, Arthur, it's, it's, well, well, Arthur, it sounds like you're bulletproof. Are you bulletproof? I'm so bulletproof, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, so well, bulletproof. And I like that. I like that. Um, the name that you got for this show, man, Bulletproof, because I know, man, a lot of people need that. A lot of people need that shield, that Bulletproof can they, cannot be touched. You know, awesome. you know where you're going. If you know what you're doing and you know what you're going for, you cannot be stopped. Awesome. Well, listen, it is a pleasure. To, it, it has been a pleasure to have you on my show today, man, and I'm going to wish you continued success with World Ventures. You know, you've got the juice. You've got the energy. You know, you've got the family support. And, again, thank you for being a guest on the, my show, uh, Bulletproof Today, and just continue to do what you're doing. Have a great day, and uh, God bless once again, okay? Yes, sir. Pleasure. All right, guys, this is Bob Coleman with Bulletproof. And remember, guys, in all of your getting, get Bulletproof. Have a good day.